Atwood machine is a combination of two bodies connected over a pulley with a light weighted string connected to the rigid support. Let us say it is connected in such a way that M1 is greater than M2. As M1 is greater than M2, this body tends to move in a downward direction. Its motion will be in downward direction. This body is tend to move in a upward direction. We also need to identify what are the forces acting on the system. We know that the force acting on this uh, due to the gravitational force is m one g that makes the string tight, a tension is generated. As the pulley is smooth, the same tension will be passed to the other part of the string. The weight due to the second load is nothing but m two g. Now, as I want to calculate the acceleration of the system and the tension in the string, I need to draw a free body diagram. You know the meaning of the free body diagram that we shall identify all the forces acting on the body. Let us start with M2. We know its weight is acting in downward direction. The tension is in upward direction and the system itself is moving upward with an acceleration A. Then I can write F resultant is M2 A is force in the direction of the motion shall be treated like positive against the motion shall be treated like negative. Let it be equation number 1. Now we want to draw free body diagram for the other body M1 of the system. Let us take that M1, identify the forces acting on it weight in downward direction, tension in the string in the upward direction and its motion is in downward direction. And I can write F resultant is M1 A equal to M1 G minus tension. These are the two equations that I have and I need to calculate two things that is acceleration and tension. It is very simple to do that. Let us just add equation number 1 and equation number 2. LHS side M2A plus M1A I am adding RHS side T minus M2G plus M1G minus tension. Tension and tension gets cancelled. So acceleration of M1 plus M2 equal to M1 minus M2 of G. Then I get a value of the acceleration as M1 minus M2 by M1 plus M2 of G. Once if you get an acceleration either from equation number 1 or from equation number 2 by substituting this acceleration we can get the value of the tension and if you calculate you are going to find that tension as 2 m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 of g. I want you to cross check this, verify this and see whether you are able to get the same equation like I have mentioned. That is what I want to prove today regarding the connected bodies and Atwood machine. Thank you.